Hello people and welcome to Tech Dose. This is where we talk about some interesting stories of tech from this week. So let's go into this. So they're bringing back the SSX franchise which is awesome because SSX3 is one of my favourite games of all time. More than Skate, more than Call of Duty, it's <laughs> so SSX3, SSX Tricky and SSX Blur were the last sort of three main titles. Um, SSX Blur was on Wii and kind of looked really bad so they kind of disappeared after that and they're bringing it back. The trailer looks amazing, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and watch that. Um, the actual SSX EA website has loads of really good videos of like creating the characters, the tracks and stuff, it looks really good. Um, it looks like they're really trying to keep it as the original where it's like arcadey but just really fun and also they have a sort of a tagline as race it, trick it and survive it so I'm guessing three gameplay types and you can just like either race it, trick it or survive it you know? So in the news this week Clamcase has made an interesting case for the iPad 1 and 2 it is a laptop type of case where you dock your iPad in and it has a full QWERTY keyboard and it turns into an awesome netbook. So I think it's such a really good concept. It doesn't have a trackpad but it uses the keyboard so you still have to like reach your hand onto like the main screen to actually touch but to use it as like a typing, like moving away, traveling, netbook thing, it's so awesome and the iPads are awesome. So it even has special keys at the top for like home, lock, search, slideshow and like volume controls. You can even turn it on and off. I just love how it has special buttons just to work with the iPad as well. You can even flip the keyboard around and it turns into a stand. So the case has a lot of purposes. You can get it in three colours, black, white and aluminium just like the MacBook. I really want to get that aluminium one because it just looks so amazing and it would suit right next to my MacBook it'd be like I have two, two laptops. So it's priced at $150 which is kind of expensive but then it is an awesome product. And if you want to go and check it out, there is a link in the description. So Final Cut Pro X has been released to the Apple Mac store. It is. It got released on the 21st. It's $179.99 or $299.99, um, which is quite a big difference because the Final Cut Pro Suite 7 was $1,000 and Final Cut Express was $99. So they're kind of like not letting you have a choice and they're just like, this is the price, it's less than Final Cut Pro, but more than Final Cut Express. So just a few new features that you should probably get excited for is it has auto rendering in the background so you can preview your clip in pretty much live time and it will just auto render itself so then you won't have to wait for it to render, you can carry on editing while it's doing it. It has a magnetic timeline so no ripple delete, I have a feeling that that might actually annoy me, I don't know why, I just feel like that's something that I'm not really... I don't really want. It supports 64-bit which means faster rendering times which is always epic and Motion 5 and Compressor 4 have also been released and they're £29.99 each or $49.99 each if you're in the US. It would be about £260 overall for the UK. Um, I have heard some really bad reviews for this which I'm kind of gutted by but I kind of felt like it was expected because the way that they've merged iMovie and Final Cut, I don't I don't really like the fact that they've done that because I feel like Final Cut was so far away from iMovie it felt professional whereas like now it kind of feels more amateur professional I don't know why I just I don't like the idea of it iMovieified because I hate iMovie so guys that was this week's episode of Tech Dose if you want to follow us on Twitter I am at Dan Beaver and Rob is at our mayhem also we appreciate a thumbs up tell us what you think about Final Cut Pro 10 do you like it do you not like it Please comment down below with your opinion. At the end of the video, there will be two videos and you can click an annotation so you can go watch another video that you want to see. Hi Aiden. Aiden sucks!